Good afternoon. My name is Kim Saylor, and I'm the Director of Product Marketing here at CDK for Fixed Operations. And today I have Mike Coley, who's President of ASC Education Foundation with me. So welcome, Mike. Thanks, Kim. So we want to talk about your foundation. So how about you give us a description of what your foundation does for the dealers? Absolutely. A lot of people are familiar with the ASC brand, the ASC right. name. We've been around, we're celebrating our 50th anniversary okay. this year. We were created by the automotive industry, for, by NADA and other industry partners to certify auto mechanics, what we called mechanics back in the day. We started out with four tests. Today we have 200,000 plus certified technicians all over the country, dealerships, aftermarket, the entire industry, and we're supported by the entire industry. We serve the entire industry. The Education Foundation is a separate branch of ASC. What we do is we work with all the high school programs and all the college programs all over the country. Currently, 2,300 plus different training programs across the U.S. We impact over 120,000 students all the way from ninth grade up into college that are preparing to become the automobile collision repair and truck technicians of the future. And so we're trying to make sure that the schools have the tools, the equipment, the credentials, the curriculum, that they're teaching what the industry cares about so that when the technicians come out of school, they're ready to go to work, be productive, fix the cars. Let me tell you about a couple of studies that we've done here at CDK. So we did a service shopper study and what we found was the number one reason customers returned to the dealership for service was because of the knowledge of the technicians. And then we did another study, an AI study, that we asked dealers what was their biggest concern. Guess what it was? Employee, technicians, their knowledge. So we know exactly what the shoppers want. We also know that's also the biggest concern of dealers. So I think your foundation plays right into that. Absolutely. We know, number one, there's a car shortage, there's a chip shortage. Right. I think people know there's a technician shortage. Right. And it's not getting any better. It's, if anything, it's getting worse. What we need to get out to the students, to the parents, to people that are looking for, where, you know, what's my career going to be? What am I going to do for a living? We need to let folks know about the opportunities that are available in automotive service. And it's not just turning wrenches. Right. Having a fundamental education in automotive technology, that opens all sorts of doors. You could be a warranty claims administrator, service writer, parts department, you name any position in, in the dealership, those are all open to you and you have a leg up on somebody else that's coming in that doesn't have that understanding of automotive technology. And so we need to make folks aware of all of these great job openings that are available to students so that we can get them into our programs, train them up and get them into the industry. You know, there is a, there's an old school perception that auto mechanics, you know, it's a dirty job, it's hard work, long hours, low pay, low tech. None of those things are true. No. Good technicians can make great money, own a home, drive a nice car, and have no student debt. Right. And so <laughs> we need to make folks aware of that. But the other thing is, and, and we really let students know this early on, it's lifelong learning. The technology of the vehicles is continually changing. The technology that we use to diagnose and service the vehicles is continually changing. Right. So you've got to be a whiz with a, with a laptop or with an iPad to look up service information, make sure that you're following the procedures correctly, uh, get the car diagnosed correctly. So it's a high tech career. There's so many networking buses on the vehicles today. Students need to understand all that networking, all that technology. Even when you switch from internal combustion engines to electric vehicles, all of that electronic technology, that foundational skill of being able to diagnose an electronic network, that skill is going to be 100% applicable going forward to the new technology. So. We really try to, to let students and, and parents, and the gatekeepers know, this is a great career. It's not going away. It can't be outsourced. And there's going to be vehicles to service as far as the eye can see. So as a woman, and I've been in fixed stops for longer than I'm going to admit, <laughs> what does your foundation do to help bring women into this role or you know, others into the role? So if you look at the Bureau of Labor Statistics, women are 50% of the workforce, no surprise. Right. They are 2% of all service technicians. Wow. If you include all the other positions in the store, 
from sales to service to everything else, women make up 9%. People have a perception that this is a man's career. And the fact is, there's nothing here that stops women from getting into this career, particularly in all the different fixed ops uh, positions. And they can do a great job at it. And we are subconsciously telling half the population need not apply. So we need to get past that. We're working right now to develop materials for our uh, foundation partners, for the schools, to help them reach out more to young women, to underserved minorities, and tell them about all these great career opportunities. And hey, this isn't just for guys, this is for everybody. And bring all those students in because we need to cast a wider net to fill all these empty positions. CDK Global is making a generous donation to the foundation to help us expand those materials and expand those opportunities. So we greatly appreciate that. You're welcome. That, yeah, that's great. You mentioned EV a little bit before. So are you changing, you know, what you guys have to provide because of what we see changing in, you know, with the vehicles that are going to be available and have to be serviced down the road? So two things there. There's 280 million gas and diesel vehicles right. on the road. They're going to be on the road for a long time. So we still have to train entry-level technicians on brakes, 12-volt electrical, suspension, air conditioning, all of the traditional areas. Right. But we also need to make them aware, number one, of safety concerns, not just with EVs, but ADA systems, where the car will magically do things like it has a mind of its own, because it's been programmed to kind of have a mind of its own. Right. And there's service procedures that you have to make sure you're doing it correctly or you know, you can be a danger to yourself in the service bay or your coworkers. So we want to make sure, number one, that folks are aware of safety issues uh, around EV. So we're developing safety standards and a safety assessment we're planning to release later this year to make that available from everybody from the porter to the service rider to the service technicians, as well as all the students that are coming into the industry. So that's a first step. If you can't right. work safely, you can't work. Right. That's one. And then beyond that, we look for our industry partners because EVs right now, the market penetration is only, we're just getting to maybe 1%. We have that hockey stick effect right, that right. people are predicting. And so right now the ATEX are doing most of the service on EVs, but there's gonna to continue to be service for entry level techs. They're gonna see more EVs in their bays. And so figuring out where do we bring that curriculum into the schools and our standards kind of drive that and help schools figure out when do we need to bring that curriculum? So we're working with our industry partners to kind of figure out what's the right timing for that, to phase that in so the schools will bring it in and the entry-level techs will be trained up. How can we help our dealers, right? So what you're doing is amazing, but how do we connect you and the dealers? Sure, we always say we've got a national problem and it's got a local solution. You're in Kentucky, yep. I'm in Virginia, and we're talking to somebody in Kansas or California or Alaska or wherever. We can't come and solve their problem, but they have local dealers in, in their community. Right. Schools working in partnership with the dealers can solve this problem. What we're looking for is to try to encourage dealers and other employers, reach out to your local high school program, reach out to your local college program, find out what they need work with them to get students actually come job shadow, come do shop tours, and put them to work while they're still in school, which is doable, and pair them with a mentor in the workplace, which is doable, and that way we, can, we know statistically that students who graduate from an ASC accredited program that work while they're still in school are more likely to enter the industry, they're more likely to stay in the industry. So that's, yeah, that's you know, when you talk way. about recruiting and retention, we yeah. think that's key. Right. But I'm a dealer, right? And I'm busy. I'm selling cars. I'm fixing cars. I'm not running an HR development shop. Well, yeah, you are. <laughs> so what can we do to help with that? So we've developed a tool. We call it the Adopt-A-School Toolkit. Okay. It's available for free to everybody. And the idea is that we lay out some real simple things that a dealer can do. Here's how you find your local schools. You can find them on our website. Here's how you pair with, up with your local schools. Here's some simple things you can do that don't require a lot of time or a lot of money to get involved with your local schools. And what we find is dealers that start down this road, a little bit of involvement, and they, they see a little bit of payback, a little bit more involvement, they see a little bit more payback. And then the goal is then you have local dealers that are involved with their local schools telling them, 
here's what I need you to teach. This is the equipment you need in the shop. Going to administration when the budget doesn't cover that piece of equipment, making sure that they get it in next year's budget, things like that. That local solution, the local involvement, will bring those students into our industry. So with the Adopt-A-School Toolkit, again, available for free from our website, www.aseducationfoundation.org. Sorry about it long name. <laughs> Come there, click on find a program. You can find your school with your zip code. Click on adopt a school. There's a button at the top of the screen and all that uh, information is there and it's available for free. So we want dealers to take advantage of that. That's awesome. So one last question for you. Are you doing more than just technician education? Are there other areas like are you helping with advisor education and things like that? Or is it mostly focused on technician? So the education at the entry level is focused on really automotive technicians. Okay. But most of our programs, um, you know, again, they're giving you that, that baseline set of, of industry knowledge. And that can be automotive, it can be collision repair, or it can be in medium heavy trucks or diesel. But a student can take that and go anywhere with it. Just because you get in and you find out, you know what, turning wrenches is not really all I thought it was going to be. Right. But wow, sales, I'm interested in that. Finding out early that you like this and not that so right. much, that can be really important for a student. The other thing, frankly, is, is showing students because they think, oh, if I go to this class, then the only thing that that trains me to be is a wrench. Right. We need to make folks aware of all these other opportunities. So when we do our tours of our facilities, we show them not just the shop. We show them the front end. We show them upstairs. We show them everything and say all of these opportunities are available to you. And you take leaps ahead when you have that basic foundational knowledge. Okay, so one last time, I'm going to ask you to tell us your uh your web address so that dealers know where to get started. Absolutely. Okay. www.ase educationfoundation.org, all together, no spaces, <laughs> and then click on find a program and click on adopt a school. Awesome, that's great. So thank you so much for spending the time with us. We really appreciate it. Absolutely, great to be here. Thank you to CDK Global for all of your support. You're welcome, thank you.